Hi guys, welcome to RM24.com YouTube channel. My name is Vadim, it is my brief introduction. As always, if you are new here, welcome to our YouTube channel. And today we are going to disassemble the smartphone Home Redmi Note 10 5G. Uh, there is one thing, it has its identical brother uh, or twin brother called uh, Poco M3 Pro. So if you need interchangeable original smart parts, you may try even the motherboard and back to the assembly it has two gears or medium in our difficult rating and will be disassembled by detaching the back cover which is glued with adhesive so we have to use a uh, heating mat or heat gun to soften the adhesive maze and one thing more in our videos we often use um, anti-static gloves it's often an asking question on our channel uh, just for uh, aesthetic uh, purpose only but in our real work we use um, anti-static wristband but uh, you may choose whatever you like and one more thing i promise to say hi to brazil so guys just a few words in portuguese uh, Daniel, Daniel, the commentary on the page para Gisel, we para o Brazil. Okay, o pessoal, eu aprendi português desde o ano passado. Eu realmente amo o Brasil. Eu espero poder falar por vocês com é, português uh, fluentemente em breve. I hope I said everything well. And if you guys are ready, let's disassemble the Redmi Note 10 5G. Okay, our first step, we're going to open the back cover. We will heat the back cover up to 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit to soften the adhesive base. In our case we put the smartphone on the heating surface, heating mat for uh, three or five minutes but you can use a um, heat gun or a small sandbag how, how I fix it does and Okay, after maybe three or five minutes, we are ready to go. We take a plastic film or sheet and put it uh, in the gap between the core and the middle frame. Okay, spray some isopropyl alcohol and slide the opening tool along the edge. Uh, be careful of the place where cameras are located, there is a hole because cameras have their own cover and the opposite core side is narrow and thin, it's easy to break this part. Along the edges around the cameras there is cover glued with adhesive too, bend the core carefully. And I guess we can remove remove it. Yeah. On the cam on the cover we have only gasket. I guess someone disassembled maybe even tried to repair this smartphone before the us. Now we have to unscrew all screws with a screwdriver Phillips 1.5 mm or hash 3 O and first we unscrew four screws uh, hold uh, the camera cover the camera score okay carefully and now remove it um, there is uh, two screws and screw them too memorize uh, the screw locations or just put screws on the table in the right order 
In our case we use a magnetic dish. I see broken warranty sticker on the screws. Yes, yeah, smartphone has been disassembled before us. We we'll unscrew a few more screws at the lower part of the smartphone. These screws hold the loudspeaker, cover with the loudspeaker, also they hold the subboard. Okay, last one. Uh, okay, um, we take ejection tool, put into the hole and remove the card tray. After we take an opening tool, put it in the place where try hole between the middle frame and the display model frame. We slide our tool along the edge, detach the clips or fasteners that hold the middle cover or middle frame. Also be careful at the corners, there is always difficult place to detach the clips or fasteners. Okay, carefully. Yeah. And we disconnect the fingerprint sensor cable connector. Please use non-metallic or plastic tool because the motherboard is still powered. The fingerprint sensor located on the side of the, of the frame. On the frame there is uh, a lot of tracks and pads for speakers and antennas. And now we should disconnect the battery connector, also we use a non-metal or plastic tool. And I guess now we can remove the loudspeaker. We take a tweezers, very carefully over the edge and remove the loudspeaker, cover with the loudspeaker. Okay, we disconnect interboard cable connector, one coaxial cable, second one. And try to detach the fasteners and carefully pry the subboard and try to remove it. The subboard may be may glue it with a metallized adhesive. On the subboard, we see the uh, um, USB port for charging data transfer uh, microphone and uh, spring contacts for a loudspeaker and vibration motor. We disconnect the interboard cable connector. We disconnect connector and remove the front camera. A uh, big one this uh, for rear camera. Yeah, we we'll remove it. Uh, it may glue it uh, to the display model frame a bit. We we'll disconnect uh, last one rear camera and carefully pry and remove. Oh, we forgot to disconnect the coaxial cables. Uh, the motherboard may be uh, glued with a thermal paste from the inside. Okay, on the display model frame we have air speaker, coaxial cables, battery, vibration motor. And I guess now we're done. Thank you for watching.
Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, uh, write your comments, and guys, please take care of yourself, and until next video.